Hi, I'm Aaron Williams with the 7th Grade Poetry Foundation. I'm Michelle Oyola, Communication Arts Teacher at South City Preparatory Academy on Brand. Okay, and, and uh, is this your first year of having the program at your school? This is the first year we've had the program. We've had poetry events um, in the past, but this is our first time learning about the 7th Grade Poetry Foundation. What was the experience like of even finding out about the program? for the first time. Well, when we first heard about it, we thought it was too good to be true. You know, it's free to sign up, there's an award night, they get published in a book, there's a prize, like, we were like, so all we have to do is sign up for this, and then I also like the autonomy that you have as a teacher, where you can hold the contest in pretty much any way that you want, except that everyone's encouraged to participate, which we do anyway, and it's just, it allows you as a teacher to approach poetry your own way, but then also to be a part of some something so much greater than just your own classroom. So the first thing you have to do when you're teaching poetry is get them over that fear of the form. And the best way to do that is to get them excited about it, to not make it less scary by making it fun. And hearing that, you know, the best seventh grade poem is going to be part of this competition, like that automatically gets the enthusiasm up, which breaks the fear down and helps them begin to express the, themselves through their writing that much faster. And did you find that the um students like the freedom part of this, that you weren't going to say how long it had to be, or, uh, or, or the, that you were cramming some topic down their throat, you know? Oh yeah, they loved that. They didn't believe me at first. They were like, so, it can be about anything. I'm like, I'm like, uh-huh. Like, it, it can be as long as I want. And I'm like, uh-huh. And they're like, okay. I think it was between both being able to go to an event and perform there was a big deal, but then also the idea of like, you're going to be in a book that is going to become a part of not just our school, but the entire community. Like, you are going to be in a book, you'll be a published author. That blows their minds. Wow, so, and then what was it like when, they brought, when you brought the book back to school? Well, you know, the great thing about uh, Valpo Gold, which is the name of Kalisa's advisory at South City Prep, they are like a family. They're not a <laughs> uh, They are a family, and they all support each other. So when Kalise came back and we told them everything that happened, like it was nothing but support for her and excitement. That's and great. They all wish they could, could have been here with her today. We could not be more proud of Kalise. You could not ask for a better kid to be getting all this recognition, we could not be more excited for and what, her. And what, and what an important poem that she wrote. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. Real, real game changer. Yes. And, uh, and I want to thank you uh, for, for signing up for the program this year. And I was just wondering, what would you tell a school that maybe is hearing about this program for the first time? What would you say, what would you communicate to a, a principal or a teacher as to, as to uh, whether they should, they should sign up too? Uh, just that there's there's no catch. Like it is, it is what it says it is. Like you just sign up, you can approach the contest your own way, and then you just go with it your own way. And then your students are recognized in a way that they wouldn't be able to be recognized if you were just doing it by yourself. And you were mentioning what that the uh, what effect it's having on the school itself in terms of even the lower grades. Uh, why don't you share that with us? Yeah, it's it's really building the excitement and enthusiasm about poetry. It's making it something special. It's something um, to not be afraid of, but instead just try it. Just try it and express yourself in this form. And you, it's really fun them realizing like, hey, this isn't quite as hard as I thought it was. And this is a great way to play with language and understand language better. And you mentioned the sixth graders are now, you know, looking forward. Oh yeah, too. they are ready to go. They couldn't understand why this year they couldn't participate. I'm like, it's for seventh graders only. So they are, the rising seventh graders are going to bring it this year.